Hey friends, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, The Warrior Classes. Today in this session, we are going to solve this interesting trigonometric problem. Here we have if sec theta minus tan theta that is divided by sec theta plus tan theta that is equal to 1 by 7 and theta lies in first quadrant, then we'll have to find the value of cosec theta plus quad square theta that is divided by cosec theta minus quad square theta. So friends, before we start, please give a thumbs up to the video. Now let's start the video. Now after seeing that this is in the form of minus and plus division and one thing we can remind here the componendo and dividendo. Now look at here if we have a divided by b and that's equal to c divided by d. Now according to component and dividendo we can write a plus b thus divided by a minus b and that will be equal to c plus d that is divided by c minus d right. So now make it the advanced form of this if we have x plus y that is divided by x minus y and that is equal to a by b then from here we can calculate the value of x by y now look at here what will the value of x divided by y definitely value of x divided by y will be a plus b divided by the main thing here if you look at here we have the plus sign in the numerator so we have negative sign so we'll flip this expression so if we'll flip then the equation will be sec theta sec theta plus tan theta that is divided by sec theta minus tan theta here it is sec theta minus tan theta and that's equal to will flip the right hand side also so it will be 7 divided by 1 now from here we can calculate the value of sec theta by tan theta so sec theta divided by tan theta that will be 7 plus 1 means a plus b 7 plus 1 is 8 that is divided by 7 minus 1 that is 6 if we'll cancel it by 2 that it will be 4 divided by 3 now the value of sec theta divided by tan theta will be cosec theta now look at here sec theta we can write 1 divided by cos theta right and tan theta we can write sin theta by cos theta so sin theta divided by cos theta so it is the value of tan theta and uh, that is equal to 4 by 3 now we'll simplify it so here it will be 1 by cos theta 1 by cos theta and we'll multiply and we'll flip this form so it will be cos theta cos theta divided by sin theta so in the right hand side we have 4 divided by 3 here cos theta and cos theta will be cancelled so we are left with 1 by sin theta so 1 by sin theta we can write cosec theta so it is cosec theta will be 4 divided by 3 now from cosec theta here we'll have to calculate the value of cot theta and we know now for calculating the value of cot square theta we know the formula that is cosec square theta cosec square theta minus cot square theta cot square theta is 1 now from here we can calculate cot square theta we'll take cot square theta in the right hand side so in the left hand side we are having cosec cosec square theta minus 1 that will be equal to cot square theta so it is cot square theta now here we have calculated cosec theta so we can calculate the value of cosec square theta so cosec square theta will be if we will square both the side that will be the value of cosec square theta so cosec square theta will be 4 square is 16 and 3 square is 9 so it is the value of cosec square theta so in place of cosec square theta we will write 16 divided by 9 minus 1 it is the value of cot square theta now if we we'll solve this left hand side it will be 16 minus 9 is 7 divided by 9 it is the value of cot square theta so it is cot square theta now here cot square theta is 7 by 9 and cosec theta cosec theta value is 4 by 3 so cosec theta is 4 by 3 and cot square theta is 7 by 9 now in the final step we will put the value of cosec theta and cot square theta now in the numerator we have cosec theta value of cosec theta is 4 by 3 so it is 4 divided by 3 and we have plus sign here so plus cot square theta is 7 by 9 so it is 7 divided by 9 and whole term is divided by cosec theta cosec theta is 4 by 3 so it is 4 divided by 3 minus cot square theta is 7 by 9 so it is 7 by 9 now let's simplify it so in the numerator value we will do first so we will take LCM 9 so here 3 times 3 times 4 is 12 plus it is 1 times 
so 1 times 7 is 7 similarly in the denominator we have 9 in here it will be 12 minus 7 so 12 plus 7 is 19 so it is 19 divided by 9 and the whole term is divided by 12 minus 7 is 5 divided by 9 here 9 and 9 is cancelled so we are left with 19 divided by 5 so final answer of this problem here is 19 divided by 5 is our final answer so friend how my video is give your precious comment in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe our channel